So thank you for tuning in to West Coast Rap Scene. It's your boy, Joel. And today uh, we are interviewing Sacramento's Hit Stick Tax Free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, my boy. No problem, man. How, how you doing? Oh, sure. You know, you know, just out here doing doing my thing, man. Just, you know, getting ready to drop this album, you know, just, just out here fucking around. Hell yeah, man. I saw you, you, you did drop a little project recently. Mm-hmm. That was, uh, which one was that? Uh, Risk Taker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has yeah. Tracks, man. You know, I, I like really from six. That's probably my favorite song off of that track. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, my boy. And, yeah, right. I, I like that one. I like that yeah. one. All right. So, you know, uh, let's, you know, start with the first question. You know, where were you, where, where are you from? You know, born and raised? Born and raised, never left. Sacramento, California, baby. 916. But I'm from, I'm from 36th Street. I'm from Frank Lone Boulevard. All right. All right. And, you know, how was it, you know, growing up in, in you know, Sacramento? Uh, you know what? Sacramento's kind of crazy, bro. It's like, you know, it's like just a bunch of shit going on since since way back then, you know, like my life, my my uh my childhood was a little different than, you know, most people's, you know, like. You know, I, I had, you know, just like you, you hear a movie, you hear, you know, the kids that struggle, you know, that didn't have nothing that, you know, parents was out doing their thing, doing, you know, shit like that. And, you know, I caught on to the street life real young, you know, 12 years old. I was, you know, doing my thing. I was getting tattoos by 14 and, you know, shit like that and getting rested at school, you know, little bullshit like that, you know. Um, but as far as like Sacramento wise, it's just, you know, it's easy to move around if you know what you're doing. You know, like a lot of a lot of these people out here, they don't know what they're doing. They moving reckless or they, you know, they showing people where they at, you know, or hanging around the wrong crowd, you know, hanging around, you know, this group, but then hanging around this group, you know, and shit like that. You know, basically to survive in sack, you just gotta you just gotta move right. You just gotta, you know, know your politics, gotta stay in your lane, you know, and just move, you know, efficiently. Uh all right. And you know, is it difficult, you know, to grow up in Sacramento, like not get into the streets? to get into the streets of Sacramento? Nah, it ain't. It ain't. You know, I mean back back then, you know, back when I, you know, back when I was growing up, um, you know, it it was more or less who you around, you know, if you around them, you know, them guys, then that's who you around. If you affiliated with them dudes, then that's who you with. Nowadays, it's a little different, you know. Nowadays, all all the dude got to do is make a little Instagram page, start throwing up a gang sign, and start adding adding little numbers and dissing people on the on the internet. And now they think they you know they part of the gang and shit. But you know it goes way deeper than that. But it's it's really you know Sacramento is real influential when it comes to you know the gangs and shit like that. So it's real easy to get sucked into it. Yeah, yeah, and you know um, you know why you know. You know, why rap, you know, like what made you, you know, decide, you know, okay, you know, I shouldn't, you know, start making music. Uh, I got, I started making music, uh, really, it was after, uh, it was after my brother died. Um, my brother, rest in peace, criminal. He was, he's from the same hood as me. Uh, he was rapping and he was going crazy, bro. Like, they don't even understand. Like, you know, even, even with the politics out here nowadays, you know, they hear this, you know, uh, you know, the dissing and shit like that, you know, they hear the Briss songs and, you know, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But when I tell you my brother Criminal was was the originator of that shit, he was putting niggas on the front line. He was putting their niggas full, you know, government names in their songs and, you know, letting them know what it is. You know, he's been, he's been on the helmets, you know, but he died in 09. Um, he never really, like, dropped, like, an album or nothing like that, but he has, like, a good eight, eight, ten songs, you know, just done and, you know, and uh, me, we, me and one of my cousins, we were thinking about uh, actually putting an album together, you know, just putting all the songs together and just dropping his album, you know, doing what he what he would have wanted, you know. And uh, so we we thinking about that. So anybody who knows Criminal, you know, that that's something to definitely look into. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, co- you know, condolences, um, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, who like. Who are you? Who are your inspirations? You know, uh, when it came to music, you know, who'd you listen to, and like, or who are your influences of like the sound you have and all that? Uh, the sound I have, you know what, bro? I feel like I'm a little different when it comes to it, bro. You know, you you let me know how many interviews you listen to with with rappers, and you ask them about their inspirations. They'll be like Tupac or Biggie, you know, and like 
nah. Like, you know, of course, they're, they're the GOATs. They're the legends. But that's not who I got my sound from. And that's not who I go to to listen to or, you know, to nothing like that. My upbringing was the Jacka, Joe Blow. You know, Joe Blow's bit, Joe Blow was really my, like, my main. I always listened to him, you know, and he always, I always related to Joe Blow the most because he would intermingle his street life or his street music in with what he had going on with his family, you know, like with his kids and let him know that, you know, he'd always talk about his kids and shit like that. So I feel like I always kind of got my, you know, my, my, you know, influences from, from Joe Blow. Cause he just, he was just that guy and he still is, you know, and he could take a break for a year or two and drop an album. And it's like, he ain't never, you know, it's like, he just dropped it and like, he never left, you know, Joe Blow's the guy. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll be honest, you know, I, I have heard of Joe Blow. I never really listened to him like that. But, you know, the Jacka, I for surely, you know, heard about him. You know? Yeah, yeah, the Jacka, you know, shit like that. And, they, you know, just like my brother Criminal, uh, you know, he was a big influence on how, you know, how I rap. You know, he was that gangster kind of, you know, music, shit like that. My cousin DB, my cousin DB, he was, man, bro, he, he never really dropped too much music like that. But um, he even has a song with with Woody from back in the day, you oh, know, Woody, yeah. and, you know, Woody and Bloodshot, shout out to Bloodshot, you know, and uh, yeah, they have, you know, my cousin DB, he was, he was crazy, bro. And like, man, if I, I'll, I'll send you, bro, later on, I'll send you just like a little snippet of, you know, just something that he had, bro, just so you can see the talent that he had, but, you know, just street life, you know, caught up to him and, you know, he focused on that more than focused on his music with, you know, it's unfortunate with someone with that much talent, you know, it happens, but it, you know, that's, that's the game. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, um, Woody, you know, Woody's another, another legend, you know, and, you know, um, not a lot of people know about, you know, Woody only like, you know, people from, you know, Northern Cali or Northern Cali. Yeah. I don't know that. who he is and the impact he has had on, you know, the rap scene, you know, him and like Speedy Lokes too. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Speedy Lokes. Yep. All them big tones. Shout out big tone. You know, he, Big Tone's going crazy. I never, you know, I never met the dude, but all the dudes that I associate with, he, they, they're with, you know, they're, they're locked in with him real tight, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out, you know, shout out to my nigga Cinco. Shout out to my cousin Rico, too smooth. Shout out to my nigga D Cincinnati, you know, them, them are the guys right there. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, um, bringing up this, you know, the NorCal rap scene, topic you know what what's your opinion on the north Carolina rap scene right now do you think it's you know it's 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 one of the hottest rap scenes when it comes to the west coast it's on fire it's on fire if you put all the politics to the side and you know shit like that it's on fire bro even with the yeah. politics involved it's still on fire bro they're just you know they just saying another sound like it where you know they there's used to always be this you know oh sacramento bite you know is basically like biting off the bay or they get basically like the bay's leftovers type shit or you know they the base you know gets this first and sacramento gets it last you know type shit but i feel like now the bay area dudes are looking at us like okay now i get you know now they're looking uh you know youtube beats and you know blah 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 type beats and shit like that because they're trying to get the sound like us yeah um you know right now you know Obviously, you know, the hottest, you know, rap scenes right now when it comes to North Cal is Sacramento and Stockton. And, you know, yep. Sacramento and Stockton, they both, you know, created, like, their own, like, their own sound. Now, like, the big starting to use that sound now, you know, which is, which is crazy. All right, so, yeah, you know, um, like, we, like, like I said earlier, you know, Sacramento and Stockton can have their own sound now, you know, um, especially when it, you know, when it comes to, to the beats, obviously, you know. The beats, yep, yep. Uh, man, right now, I feel like even with the beats, bro, these dudes, these dudes are going crazy. I, I feel like uh, Sparky, Sparky uh, made, made it slap, I think, yeah, Sparky or something like that. Uh, he, he made it, you know, he had the biggest influence, I feel like, on, yeah, you know. For and, this new you generation. Know, for this generation right now, you know, 2020, you know, and the 2019, all 2020, even, you know, 2021 going to 2022, he's the, he's the guy when it comes to the sound. Um, right now, I got to say, though, my favorite producer is uh, Stru B. I don't know if you ever heard of Stru B, but he's the one that he, he's the one that did the, the beat for, for the really from the six. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, that, that's, I, I like that beat. Like I said earlier, 
Favorite, favorite songs off your project? What what I uh, I tell you this, bro, right now, the the my whole next album, it's maybe one, maybe two songs ain't produced by him. They're all all the rest are produced by him. All right, all right, that, that, that's what's up, man. Um, I'm dropping I'm I'm dropping this new album. It's uh it's gonna be called Topic of Discussion. All right, all right, good title. Good title. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm the I'm the main topic, whether they like it or not. They gonna talk yeah. about me whether they want to or not. Yeah. And uh, do you think right now, well, just like Nor NorCal is, it's do you think it's still kind of like slept on in some aspects? Yeah, definitely, definitely in a way. I feel like yeah, it's definitely slept on. I feel like yeah, I feel like it's still not getting enough recognition. You know, like uh, more people. You know, of course they grab it they gravitate more towards like the LA artist, you know, shit like that. The only person, you know, really that blew up and, you know, that's doing it with the bigger artists is Mozzie, you know, shit like that. CML could say, you know, he could act like he's up there too with him, but he's not fucking with Mozzie when it comes to what, you know, the music and shit like that. He's just not up there with him. Yeah. Um, I feel like, of you know, L LA and like SoCal, they get you know a lot of, of you know no, nothing against they get they get like they get like first picks. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, and you know no, nothing against the SoCal rap scene, but you know also you know here you know in in NorCal, you know especially now in the Central Valley, they're you know they're you know like Stockton, in Sacramento, you know Fresno, Merced, and like other you know even like other you know small cities are starting to you know get a name for this for themselves in the in the rap scene right now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like as far as even with them, I feel like especially not like Fresno or nothing like that, they're not fucking with, with Sacramento or Stockton. They're not. And, you know, and, and, and that's, you know, shout out to Stockton. And half the dude, half them dudes don't even like us. You know, they don't even like our hood. But, I, you know, I ain't no hater. I ain't going to be, you know, if, if a nigga's tight, bro, he's tight. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, just if I don't like the dude, it's whatever, whatever. But I ain't going to I ain't going to be one of them dudes like, oh, that nigga suck just because I don't like him. If he's tight, he's tight. Shit, it is what it is. You know, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, um, I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, Bay, when it comes to the Bay music scene, I feel like their time has passed. You know, they, they still have, you know, a lot of talent. But, you know, yeah. when it comes to, you know what's up right now it's definitely a central valley you know the bay area you know they had their time you know that you know tupac too short the hyphy movie that's what that's what i'm saying and and now you're you're gonna start you know not even gonna start you're already seeing these bay area artists doing beats like niggas from sack you know or Stockton. Yeah. you know they're doing they're doing beats like us and you know they're they're changing up their styles and they're acting like you know they're acting like us and shit like that you know and it just you you there all could be so many people doing the same thing you know it's like you know Briss had his little movement going on and shit like that you know of course we already know that you know our hoods definitely don't get along they we ain't gonna get along and uh but there's too many dudes trying to sound like him you know they trying to they trying to do all that shit and now all these niggas are are doing dances and their videos and doing you know just they they just they they seen they seen one nigga doing it good, and then they said, okay, well fuck, hopefully we can do it, you know, do it the same. He caught a buzz from doing it, maybe we can do it too, and it don't work out for him ever. Uh yeah, you know, um, you know, and, and shout out to the bait too, man. You know, nothing against them. You yeah, know. no, 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 no hate against them. They they started a lot of this shit. A lot of yeah. this shit oh, would yeah. have been possible without the bait, you yeah. know. But it, it, you know, it's we talking about the newer generation. We talk about now. You know, and they, and as of right now, they biting off of us. Yeah, and and the the Bay, they do have a lot of good talent right now, like especially you know Oakland, Richmond, San Francisco. You know, right? Yes. Uh, who's who's Richmond? Uh, Weez Gotti. That nigga is <laughs> going bananas. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh my yeah. mama, Weez Gotti is my favorite artist right now, bro. I'm yeah. slapping his shit all the time. Yeah, free, oh, God. free him too. You know, he, he got yeah, free we got it. Yeah, that, yeah that, free that, him. What are you, you know, your opinions on you know YouTube channels like you know, like swamp stories, you know, talking talking about street politics? 
incriminating. That shit's in, that man. That shit's incriminating like a motherfucker, bro. Like, I don't, I don't get what point of them helping the police do their job. You know what I'm saying? It, that's what they doing is they, you know, they just dropped a video about me not that long ago, and uh, that shit got reported or some shit. But uh, I seen uh, they, I think they reported it because they posted a video of my brother. They're talking about my brother. They're talking about my hood in general. And they were talking about my brother criminal and they posted a video of criminal uh fighting some dude or whatever. So I think they took it down because of that shit or whatever. And uh dude was talking about, you know, he started talking about me and you know, he didn't bro didn't say too much. Like, you know, he didn't say like oh, like, you know, hella incriminating shit. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen that Sacramento gang archives. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one, they'll be like, oh, uh that person is known to do this shooting and this and like, they didn't say no shit like that, but it's just like, let's say, you know, let's say the boys didn't know about me. Now that, you know, they watching this video. Now they know about me. Now they going to start looking at me, you know? So it's like, I don't know why these dudes think like, I don't know why they feel like they need to inform the whole world about what's going on in the hood, you know, and shit like that. Hey, if they want to know, watch the videos and piece it together and put it together how you guys want. You don't need to make a video explaining politics especially if you ain't even you know i'm i'm just assume that swamp stories ain't from you know ain't from sacramento he ain't from cali so like why are you making videos about hoods that you ain't even from or you probably ain't never even been to yeah um yeah you know i'll be honest you know i, I do you know i i do you know watch you know some of those videos because like you know what? Well, i watch i watch them too yeah. i watch them too because i want to see what the fuck he, you know what he's talking about you know and you know, shit like that. And half the time, bro, more than probably about 75% of the time, he's wrong about the information. Yeah, you know, um, like, it, I watch it because, you know, it gets interesting, you know, you know, it, I can't, I've, I don't have a say in the politics because I, I don't, I'm not from the streets, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's some stuff that that does get, you know, interesting. You know, I, I can understand why, you know, people you know, really get upset about about it yeah no I, I get it you know like like i say you know the videos you know he, he's doing good videos you know but if you're gonna if you're gonna do them at least be you know be spitting the truth about it you know and and if you're gonna do it don't incriminate nobody and be like oh he's known to do this shooting and he did that one and you know he did he just never got went to jail for it like come on bro now that you know now they just opens up a whole new book you know and it's just shit that that motherfuckers do not need and they doing it for YouTube views, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, you know, who are your, your dream clubs? You know, who do you wish to, you know, to work with in the future? Uh, we talking about like underground or like mainstream? Just like, you know, any, you know, anything in, in, in general. Are we talking about underground? For sure. We's got For sure. Want him on some. Um, I fuck with Mike Sherm. Mike Sherm slept on. He 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 was pushing that movement a while ago. Oh, yeah. I fuck with Mike Sherm. Um, I'm trying to think, what other dudes? If it we talking about like mainstream, I ain't gonna lie. I would pay for a Juice World verse. If we talking mainstream, I would pay for a Juice World verse. Yeah, you know, rest in peace of Juice Wood too. You know that he, bro, he's raw. He just yeah. got the album and he's raw. Yeah, yeah, I fucked with his music heavy, and you know when I found out, you know he passed. You know that was that was unexpected as fuck. Yeah, I would fuck with Juice Wood or or the Kid Leroy. Oh yeah, Kid Kid Leroy's hard. I fuck with him. He's a, yeah, he's hard. He's hard, bro. I'd fuck with them. Um, but like going back to like underground, you know, uh, Joe Blow, of course. You know, who wouldn't want to fuck with Joe Blow? Uh, Burner. Oh, yeah. For sure. You know, Burner, I would for sure get him on some, you know, or want to. Um, but even, like, mainstream, I ain't going to lie. I'd get uh, Kaylani on something. <laughs> Ooh, that's baby mama right there, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she just don't know it yet. I'm telling you. i get her because she's just raw as fuck. Um and the weekend, he's hella tight. Yeah, yeah, all, all very, you know, ta talented artists, you know. 
But but number one though, if it's mainstream, we talk about I'd pay for it bro first. It'd be my number one. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, rest in peace to him too. Um, yeah, for sure. That that he was a legend. He was a go. Yeah. And um, what do you like doing in your spare time? Uh, shit. I bro, you know what? I I did so much going. You know, I had so much going on when I was younger. I just like chilling, bro. I just like being home. I'm a father of four. Um, I just like chilling. You know, you you see, you heard one of my kids in the background. You know, shit like that. You know, I I got my kids all the time, and you know, I just like chilling at home, bro. You know, and if you know either that or I'd be at work, I'd just be chilling. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, um, it's for me, you know, especially with this COVID stuff, you know, I've been in the house a lot. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm either at home or shit. I'm I'm with the kids, you know, and I just be chilling, you know, and off my off days, if I can, I'll hit the studio and shit like that. But I don't really hit the studio unless I got like hella shit done, ready to go. Like you'll see dudes, uh, you know, they'll go to the studio and they'll start writing there. You know, they'll start trying to write their song there and they just wasting time, wasting money. I find my beat, I write, I get it memorized. So as soon as I hop in the booth, uh, it, it that's it. I just, you know, I one one take Jane, that's it. All right. Yeah, um, you, you, oh, so, you know, you, um, you don't, you know, uh, you write your music and you memorize it for the studio? Yep, yep. I go, well, I write it, I write it, you know, and then, of course, I'll take my phone. Or, you know, it just depends on how long it takes me to get to the studio. Sometimes I'll write the song and, you know, I'll go to the studio the next week. So that whole time I'm just practicing, practicing, and I'll have the whole shit down. You know, I won't even have to look at my phone or I'll just have it just in case I need to. But other than that, you know, I'll go to the studio and knock out two, three songs back to back to back. Oh, because I, you know, I finished them all and I already had them all written down and everything, you know, verses and hooks and shit like that. Uh, shout out to my nigga Sack G. He be putting in that work for me, man. I swear to God, I'll hit that nigga up and I'll be like, bro, I need to get in three hours, four hours. And he sits there for that whole time while we sit there and we knock out song after song. Yeah, you know, uh, that, that's what's up, man. Um, you know, what, what are your hobbies? Like, what do you like doing? What do I like doing? Smoking weed. Nah. <laughs> nah. Um, I should like chilling, bro. I don't really I don't really got too much hobbies besides just being, you know, being a dad. That's my main hobby. You know, I'm a dad before anything, before every the street shit, before, you know, before the rap shit, before anything. I'm a father first. And that's why, you know, I stick by that shit for sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, family first, man. Family first, I got, you know, like I said, I got four daughters, you know, and all girls, and they, you know, they depend on me, they need me, so all that other bullshit don't mean nothing to me, because as long as they, you know, I got them behind me, I'm good, as long as I know they with me, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what's up, man. So, you know, um, like, you, you were saying earlier, your cousins, your cousins with uh, Rico Too Smooth? Yep, yep, that's my cousin, uh, that's my uncle's uh, godson as well. Uh, yeah, you know he he's he's up there when it comes, you know, the psych rap scene. You know, definitely in the in, in the top ten hottest rappers out of psych right now. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. He's he's doing the thing for sure. He's putting it on for his hood. He's putting it on for the homies. I, I you know, that's my cousin. I love that nigga for sure. Uh, yeah. I just seen him on uh, on Christmas. We met at my uncle's house. Yeah, and uh, I also you know I, I I've seen you know your 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 music and you do you have a you have a song with uh, Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that one with uh, D Cincinnati too. Uh, Studio yeah. on Fire. We did that one a while back. Yeah, that that one was that one was a hot one for a minute. That's still what actually, you know what? It's crazy. It's still going up. I I go by it, you know. So I, it takes me, you know, like every couple months or something. I'll go back to it just to go look at the comments or go look at the views. You know, it's still going up. We have like sixty k right now, sixty one, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. All right. So, you know, um, do you think, you know, rap, pol like politics should interfere with music or like shouldn't? Um, 
I think with outsiders, no. Of course, the niggas that are really in this shit, then of course, you know, but all these outsiders, all these motherfuckers that, you know, aren't banging, aren't from, from here or anything like that, then no. And, you know, like, I, like, just like, you know, just like how, you, you know, you say it, bro, same thing with my, with, uh, with my engineer, Sack G, you know, we, we've talked about this shit, bro. He, you know, you guys ain't in the politics, so why am I going to sit here and act like, you know, like, put you guys in it or anything like that or get mad because they're fucking with this artist or, you know, shit like that. Like, motherfuckers, if you ain't in the politics, then stop acting like you are, you know? Like, you motherfuckers act like because they listen to so-and-so's music, all of a sudden they and they feel like, you know, they're defending them or they're in their, you know, they're supposed to be in their politics, not listening to this nigga's music because, you know, their favorite artist is this dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we're going to you know, switch up the topic a little bit. You know, is there anything, you know, fun to do in Sacramento? Mm, fucking damn near not. Not that I can think of. Uh, just depends, like, if you're trying to do sh- do something for yourself, like, by yourself or, like, family-wise, oh, by yourself. Oh, like, but, yeah, like, you know, like, by yourself, you know, or with friends, you know, family. Uh, downtown, they, you know, they have a whole, like, you know, little, if you're in the bar hopping and shit like that, you know, they have that. A um, little bit, like, <clears throat> I mean, to me, it's still in Sacramento, like, you know, over there, like, uh, Roseville, Deep Roseville by Lincoln and shit like that. Uh we got like Top Golf and fucking, you know, shit like that. Hella movie theaters, you know, all that shit. But as far as just like, it ain't nothing exciting, you know, like there's nothing like too exciting out here. Uh, uh, but like, you know, like I said, bro, if you to, to survive in sack, you just gotta, you just gotta know how to move. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, sack, I mean, there is a couple things to do because I, I don't really go out, out there like that you know I'll, I'd go once in a while but you know I mean if, if you're like in into tourism or something there's always the, the Capitol building you know like I, I visited that when I was a kid mm-hmm. oh yeah the Capitol building shit like that yeah like you know old sack and you know shit like that you know that that shit's always cool you know but it ain't like the bay where you can go walk the piers or you know yeah. shit like that you know like I feel like it, you know, I don't know, maybe just based off of, because I've been, you know, I've been here my whole life, you know, I've been here, you know, I never left and probably never going to leave. Yeah. You know, like, you know, so it's like, to me, it's like, I've done it all, seen it all, you know, I don't, I, I fucking out, you know, I could take the streets from El Grove and get all the way to fucking Roseville, you know, and take nothing but the streets and no freeway. You know, and you know, like I, I know the, I know this shit like the back of my hand. Yeah. Um. Uh. Do you, know, do you prefer being independent when it comes to music, or you know, getting signed to a label? Um. Uh, I don't know. I, I just feel I, I just it's a tough one, you know, because you know it's always cool to go independent, but it's always cool to always to have somebody behind you you know that's looking out for you or that's you know trying to find shit that's in your better interest or you know just or people with that have connections you know like i feel like you know it's cool to to put in your own work but at, at some point you know there's some people that just got better connections you know there's always you know and who's to say you know they're offering you some money for an album why not you know and you know, re- make sure you know you just know what you, you what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like there's you know there's positives and to both of them. You know, being independent. You know, some positives that you know you control your own your own decisions. You get all the money, and you know the cons of it is that you know you're gonna have to do you know everything by yourself. Yeah, you know, you know, unless you have like a manager, you know. If you don't have a manager, you're gonna have to distribute by yourself. You're gonna have to, you know, concerts by yourself, studios. Yeah, exactly. Videos. And you know, exactly. being in a, in a label, you know, you got studios, you got producers, you know. But uh, also another downside, 
of being in a label is that if you sign the wrong deal, you can get fucked over. Yeah, exactly. You always that's why you gotta stay on your shit, you know, like and you know, it, it, it you know, being with a label is cool and all, like I said, you know, it's especially if they got other dope artists, then you know, it's kinda like then you guys work on shit too and you know, whatever. But as far as like me, unless they talking cool, you know, like or unless they talking like big money or they, you know, or let's just say that they want to, you know, shoot me fucking, you know, this many, this amount of, you know, this amount of money for an album or two albums. And I do something like that for sure. Yeah. You know, um, there, there's also, you know, the, the option of staying independent, but, you know, getting your music distributed by a label, like right now, you know, especially, you know, I, I've seen a lot of artists, you know, being independent, but, you know, getting their, their music distributed by Empire or like Interscope. Yeah. Uh, which is, you know, M- Empire shows a lot of love to West Coast artists, you know, especially, you know, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of SoCal artists, you know, especially Stupid Young. He he got his stuff. Yeah, to- shit. If I, man, I'm telling you, bro, if I, if one of them heard my music, I guarantee you they fuck with me. But like you said before, bro, I'm getting blackballed with this shit. I got to start, you know, I got to start from the bottom, bro. I got to start from scratch with everything, bro. Like, you know, I could fucking, I can only do so much as far as, you know, with, you know, these motherfuckers, you know, there's motherfuckers out here that getting, you know, they getting free everything. They getting free music videos. They getting free distribution. They getting free this. They getting free that. I get no left for nobody, bro. So I got to do this shit by myself, you know? Yeah, yeah man. There's only, there's only one cameraman. I could say that really that really fuck with me. And you know, that's just my, my boy. So shout out to my nigga Pack Visuals. Shout out to my nigga uh Saint Two Shane, you feel me? My nigga Saint. You know, that nigga he did the he did the really from the six video. He did the, the 36 shots video. All right. My nigga Shane, he he did those ones. I you know, I fuck with him. But my nigga just take way too long with the videos, bro. That nigga take like a whole month to finish my video. All right, all right, all right. You know, hit stick tax free. You know, I I appreciate you know you know letting me do this interview with you. You know, um, I really believe you know you are talented and you do have you know a lot of you know good you know potential to be something great and. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate that too, bro. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you reaching out to me. You feel me? Uh, you know, hopefully one day we can look back, you know, when I got some, you know, when I'm doing numbers and shit like that, and you could be like, nigga, I was the first motherfucker to do that, nigga. Straight up, I was the first nigga to interview him. You feel me? So hopefully one day we can look back at this shit. Um, after we done with this, bro, send me send me your email, bro. I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send you a song from this album, bro. All right, man. A little preview just so you can get a little taste. All right, man. And you know, uh, tell the viewers, you know, where to find your music, where to find you on social media. Uh, you can find me on IG. Hit stick tax free. Hit stick tax free. All one word. Same thing as my YouTube. All one word. You feel me? You know, you can find me, we finna go up, you know. Um, you know, this is just the beginning. We finna go crazy, you know, 2022, this this the year. You know, I know everybody say that, but you know, me and my nigga Pack Visuals, like I just said, my cameraman, me and him just talked about it, bro. This this year we, you know, he took a little break, you know. I took a little break, you know, shit like that. I've been put just holding shit in the boat, ready to drop an album, so. Me and him, we talked about it. We gonna get the ball rolling. He wants to drop videos. I want to drop videos. So we finna just put that shit together, bro, and just keep the ball rolling because, you know, it's time to, you know, it's crunch time, bro. It is. It's crunch time. I got too much shit in the vault to let that shit just go to waste. All right. All right, guys. So, you know, um, make sure to check out his music. Uh, make sure to, you know, like, like and subscribe, you know, and you know, follow me on Instagram, West Coast Rap Scene Official925. Um, that's that's the only place where you can find me, just YouTube and Instagram. I don't have anything else. So yeah, you know, thank thank you guys for tuning in.